You know, we're in an era where the gaming industry is really, really interesting, where there has been so many games come out all over the place, but we also see a trend of remakes and remasters across the boards, right? And that's what we're gonna go over today. Why is there so many remakes and remasters? What does this mean? And also, is this a good thing or the, a bad thing for the gaming industry and for the gamers as well? And I'm talking about this today because this year, 2023, we had so many remakes and remasters come out. We even had a remake get nominated for Game of the Year, which is Resident Evil 4 Remake, which led to a lot of controversy on that as well. And it's crazy because the other day I was talking to my wife and my friends about this. So basically we all grew up in the 90s, right? And now we see something is happening lately, not just in the, in the video game space, but in general in media and pop culture, where a lot of things have been coming back that we liked back then for example one of my wife's favorite bands is blink 182 and they are coming back with new music and touring and stuff like that right and then you have movies to come back rebooted and you even have shows and stuff like that i even seen toys r us announce they are coming back as well so it's crazy seeing these things happen that or things come back that we liked back then you know and what i feel that's happening right now is that people like us that grew up on that era or that generation are now grown up with a steady job you know a family you know you have money to buy stuff that you like so these people want to like us want to relive, relive that past you know buying the things they experienced buying stuff that that they couldn't buy back then because you know obviously we were smaller and we didn't have a job and you know there just wasn't enough to for our families to purchase that specific thing that we wanted but now that we we're all grown up with a steady job you know we have our own income and stuff like that i feel like we are getting those things that we liked back then or that we couldn't like back then to experience it all over again or to experience it for the first time because we couldn't back then you know and it just feels like these things are being more relevant today that were relevant in the past and i feel that's what's happening in the gaming industry you know, these remakes and remasters are doing really good in terms of sales and popularity. But is this a good thing or a bad thing? Well, in my opinion, I think this is a really good thing more than being a bad thing in the gaming industry. And let me tell you a couple of reasons why I believe this is a good thing in the gaming industry. So the first reason is replaying and getting new people to play that certain game, right? We all know revisiting old games can be tough because you know they're either really outdated or you just don't have access to play them right so remaking and remastering a game helps out new players that never experienced it to play it or have people that played it already replayed it replaying it in a modern console or a modern form of that specific game right or you even have people that were there when that game when specific game came out but could not afford it back then and now they can afford it you know not that they're older with their own job and their own income and stuff like that because there's so many classics that were trapped in the past that many people have never experienced so this method is perfect for that and the second reason is to have output in the video games for the specific console you know it's no secret that this year was has been really light for PlayStation and Xbox in terms of game output while Nintendo has had a lot of games come out for their system this year. In terms of, you know, first party exclusives, obviously, yes, there is start third party support across the board and there will always be there, you know, but I'm talking about first party exclusives for the systems. And since these big AAA games are starting to take too long to develop, this is a good way to fill out those big gaps in between games that, you know, you're waiting for the next big title. That way, it doesn't feel like there's nothing to play in between for the specific system. And there's perfect examples out there now that, you know, that shows this method works. Obviously, like I mentioned, Nintendo through the years of the Switch had remix and remasters come out along their big games, right? For this year, the big games that I could think of could be Tears of the Kingdom and Mario Wonder. And in between of those big releases, they did have some remakes and remasters come out like Mario RPG, Metro Prime Remaster, Advanced Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp, and Kirby Return to Dreamland. But they also had some new games like Fire Emblem Engage, Pikmin 4, Bayonetta, 
origins you know now i know not every company does use remasters and remix correctly you know that's why there are some people questioning if this method is a good thing because we got playstation doing this model the wrong way with remaking you know last of us part one for example and for some reason they're remastering last of us part two and apparently they're working on horizon zero dawn remake obviously this is the wrong way to remake games because it does not make sense sense to remake a game or remaster a game that's not really old and it's still good in modern consoles there's no need to remake that game and obviously it does have backlash alongside it like we've seen in last of us part one last of us part one remake so that's a bad example but like i said there is more good than bad we've seen other big publishers that use this model as well the right way not just nintendo for example we got capcom and square enix you know atlas capcom with resident evil remakes ace attorney remasters battle mega man battle network as well then you have atlas with persona 3 reloaded coming out next year and like smaller remasters for example like atrian odyssey collection you know you got square enix with final fantasy 7 remake and final fantasy 7 rebirth coming out next year but they also have some smaller projects like star like star ocean second story r you know live alive dragon quest 3 2d hd and it shows that even with remaking or remastering games it does not affect in releasing new games or new ips like people think you can do both you can have your triple a games and you could also have your remasters or your smaller titles as well it doesn't have to be one or the other you know this is just a way to have output come out through you through the year that way it doesn't feel light on the console and players could play you know through the whole year have a lot of titles to play not just the same game or just one specific game through the whole year you know and now for the last reason why this model works is for experimenting and what do i mean by this well experimenting if there is a market for a certain game or ips in today's day reviving a certain game to see if people are interested can lead up to more games alike coming out you know at the end of the day all these companies want to see is profit and money right so if they experiment on remaking or remastering a game that has been dead for a long time and it sells really good it gives these companies the green light to you know revive the franchise or make in a sequel of that certain game for example recently we had mario rpg it has been a hit you know and i'm sure nintendo is looking onto those numbers and are are either gonna look on making more mario rpg style games or making a sequel to mario rpg then you have capcom as well with the resident evil franchise you know resident evil 2 was a success uh, resident evil 2 remake that is and they went ahead and did 3 and 4 now right which had more budget at the end of the day square enix are talking about revisiting old ips to see what they can revive so we might see games like xenogears you know chrono trigger or parasite eve come back someday so basically it's a way to take a small risk making a remake or remaster to see if there's a market out there right with their old ips which for the most part there has been a market since i since like i mentioned before people are growing up now with income and are buying these remasters and remakes alongside the new player the new players right then when they do see that that success then we could see more from that ip whether it's a remakes whether it's more remakes or a whole new game from that series with a bigger budget so that's why i think remaking and remastering games are a good thing in the gaming industry you know there can be some bad with this like i showed earlier naughty dog with the remix and remasters doing them all wrong but for the most part i do think this model is a good thing more than more than bad you know but what do you guys think is it good or bad for gaming do you enjoy replaying games from the past or are you sick of seeing this trend let me know in the comments below and i'll catch you in the next one peace